Time is an extremely valuable asset in life and it becomes even more important when it comes to editing. Just think how much you could be able to do if you were to save only 5 hours a week. That's 20 hours a month. You could spend more time with your loved ones, hang out with friends, work on improving your YouTube channel, create better thumbnails, conduct more research, record more videos, take on more projects if editing is your profession or pursue any other tasks that are important to you. What if I tell you that there is an AI plugin which will save you hours of editing in Premiere Pro by taking your audio, analyzing it, detecting all the silent parts of it and cutting them automatically within a a few minutes but that's not everything you can do with this plugin also you can create animated captions within a few minutes and convert text into ai voiceover but now enough talking so i can go and show you what this plugin is all about first i will start with the super easy installation by going to their website which you can find the link in the description down below where you can try the plugin for free and see if you like it or not then once you've logged in you can download the things you need and start the installation process which takes only a few minutes the only issue here is that the plugin right now it's only available for Windows users and hopefully soon they're gonna make it available for Mac users as well. The next thing is the pricing and it comes with three subscription plans available with monthly or annual options and each of them costs different. Now in Premiere Pro once the plugin is installed go up to window extensions and click on video chat then this panel will pop up with all these three features. First I will start with the silent cuts and what we've got here are a few settings which we can customize. First is the silent duration which ranges from 0.1 to 0.6 seconds and the recommended one is 0.2 seconds which I will keep as it is. Next I will enable the zooms so it can add zooms. Then I will scroll down to the silence detection option from where you can choose which audio track you would like to detect and here I will go with all of them. Now last but not least we will choose the cutting range to determine which part of the video to cut and in this case I will go with the whole sequence. Now when everything is set up click on cut silence and let the magic begin. This process involves rendering the audio and then uploading it to the server which may take a few minutes once this is done the cutting process will begin which may also take some time depending on the length of your footage and out of curiosity I had to compare myself with this AI plugin because I wanted to find out who would be quicker at removing the silent parts of the same video first is the AI plugin and the length of the video is 13 minutes and 50 seconds roughly and the total time of cutting all the silent parts in this video it's 2 minutes and 58 seconds. Now next is me and I'm giving my best to cut all the silent parts of the same video as quick as possible. And the total time from start to end was 6 minutes and 34 seconds. Obviously as you witness the AI plugin it's much faster than me and also the transition between the cuts is much smoother because of adding automatically the zooms and also adding automatically these audio transitions to the audio tracks. How cool is that? But let's say that you're not happy with the final result in which case you can always undo the cuts by going to the undo cutting or use the backup footage that video chat has created for you. Now the next feature might be really useful for you if you like adding animated captions to your videos and with this plugin doing this is easy as scratching your head. Once you clicked on animated captions from settings you can choose how many words per line you want and in this case I will stick with the recommended three. Then you have the option to add punctuation, stretch captions or minimum words per line which I will leave as it is. Then again you have to choose if it's for the whole sequence or just for in and out section of it and of course which audio track you would like to detect. Going further down you can choose from three styles of animated captions the Hermosi style, box captions or moving box. And the cool thing here is that you can see the preview of those animated captions. In my case I'll go with the Hermosi style because this guy is basically everywhere. And from here you can change the font size and the text color as well. And before you click on generate captions you've got the option to save your preferences so next time you don't need to go through this customization all over again. And I almost forgot to mention that from here you can position your captions and place them wherever you like on your video. And now let's click on generate captions and enjoy the the simplicity of the whole process and just like that in a few seconds you've got animated captions going to the last feature which is the AI voices is pretty straightforward what you need to do is to write or paste the text you want to convert into a speech in the generate AI voice box then you have the option to choose from 11 different voices with accents from the UK US and Australia and by clicking on the play button you will hear a preview of the voices hey this is Rachel 
and this is what I sound like. To be honest, some of them doesn't sound really good, but some of them are pretty decent. Hey, this is Adam and this is what I sound like. And here I think that this is something video chat can work on to improve in the near future. Now, after writing your text and selecting the desired voice, click on generate voice and within a few seconds or minutes, your voice will be ready. And additionally, if you want to add animated captions with it, you can enable this option. Then click on add to sequence and in a few seconds it will add up the animated captions and afterwards it will add the AI voice as well. And that's what it sounds like. Hi, my name is Petar and if you like this video, please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. Okay people, that's my final thoughts about this plugin. What I think is that this plugin is incredible. And I never thought I would say that because I was one of the people who were trying to delay the involvement of AI into my video production and especially when it comes to video editing. Because I thought that if I use AI, I won't be unique, I won't be original, but I guess I was wrong. You still can be original, you still can be yourself and what AI in this case will do is to assist you and make you better by saving time that you can invest in something else, by increasing your productivity, by making you more creative and in general help you to be a better video editor. So if you want to see it for yourself, go and try it for free. If you like it, that's amazing. And if you don't, you can cancel it anytime. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did so, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials like this one. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.